हेलो गाइस लेट्स डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ दीज फॉलोइंग एक्सप्रेशन दीज आर गोइंग टू बी मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड देन आई हैव डिस्कस बिफोर इन द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन विच सेज रूट थ्री प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू रूट टू माइनस रूट थ्री नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ वन टर्म इन द डिनोमिनेटर देर आर टू टर्म इन सब्ट्रैक्शन सो लेट्स रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर ओनली फर्स्ट राइट डाउन द एक्सप्रेशन नाउ एज यू हैव बीन आस्ट टू रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर सो वेन यू टेक द पार्ट ऑफ द रैशनलाइजेशन ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर देन दिस साइन विल बिकम देन दिस साइन विल गेट चेंज दिस विल बी प्लस टू रूट टू प्लस रूट थ्री एंड इन डिविजन अफकोर्स देर इज गोइंग टू बी द सेम टर्म सो दैट when you'll divide both of these terms you'll be left with the same expression as we had before so now you'll multiply these two numerators as well as these two denominators and let's see what you'll get you can see here this is a minus b because here a and a are same 2 root 2 2 root 2 root 3 and root 3 a minus b a plus b so you can directly write this form as a square minus b square so our a here is 2 root 2 a square and our b here is root 3 so root 3 whole square in above case this is the form of a plus b and c plus d so what you'll do as i have already discussed this identity with you you'll multiply this value with these two values first then after that you are going to multiply this one with these two values so let's do that this will become this i hope there should be no doubt here now when you solve this part what you'll get here there is power of 2 2 1 into 2 to the power 1 by 2 whole raised to power 2 minus when you'll take this square of root 3 value so this will be 3 now solve this further this is root 2 into root 3 and you know that you can write them together as well which will be root 2 of 2 into 3 which means 6 2 root 6 minus square of root 3 it will be 3 plus 2 root 2 will remain as it is plus root 3 because here you can see that there are no terms which contains root 2 other than 2 root 2 and there are no term which contain root 3 other than root 3 so this expression will remain as it is now solve this expression you can see here that base are same so these parts going to add after addition you'll get 1 plus 1 by 2 which means 3 by 2 and 2 raised to power 3 by 2 whole raised to power 2 so those two parts going to get multiplied here it will be 2 raised to power 3 by 2 whole raised to power 2 2 will cancel to after these two parts will get into multiplication and you will be left with 2 raised to power 3 and value for 2 raised to power 3 is 8 so directly write 8 minus 3 so here when you'll solve this you'll get 5 and your expression is going to become 2 root 6 plus 3 plus 2 root 2 plus root 3 divided by 5 so this is going to be your simplified expression now let's move on to second problem which is b square divided by root of a square plus b square plus a how are you going to solve that as you have been asked to rationalize the denominator only so let's rationalize the denominator you know that the sign of plus will going to change to minus 1 minus so here sign got changed from plus to minus you know that we are why we are uh, dividing the dividing the same term because you know that after cancellation you will be left with the same term as we had before now you are going to multiply numerators and then you are going to multiply the denominators so let's do that here you can see that there is the term of a you can consider a as root of a square plus b square and you consider b as a so there is this this form a plus b and a minus b so you can directly write this as a square minus b square 
Now I'm not going to tell you this thing again and again when you'll take the square of the square root. So square root and square will get cancel, will cancel each other and you'll be left with a square plus b square minus a square. So in the denominator you are getting a square plus b square minus a square and in the numerator you have b square root of b plus b square minus a. When you after subtraction you know that a square and a square will cancel each other and b you will be left with b square in the denominator and there is a b square in the numerator as well so they will cancel each other and you will be left with root of a square plus b square minus a. So after simplification you are getting this expression. I hope there should be no doubt here. I will be taking more problems in the next video lecture. Thank you.